Good morning, folks. We've got a couple important items to cover today. Earthquakes, the eclipse upcoming this weekend, and the brutally difficult science of identifying past super flares takes a leap forward. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find another mostly calm day. Solar flaring cracked back up into M-class range earlier this morning. That coronal hole solar wind should arrive at Earth within the next 36 to 48 hours, and we have several items to watch for over the next couple of days. Not only are there several sunspot active regions, but look at how many plasma filaments there are. We'll be watching all of these for eruptive activity today and as we head towards the middle of the week. Eyes open. Let's go next to seismicity. While the biggest quake of the last day was a six-pointer that struck the crust mantle boundary beneath Argentina, perhaps a bigger story is the ongoing swarm in Hawaii. They have actually closed portions of the national park for fear of volcanic gases and eruptive potential with several hundred events over the last week. Hopefully, not an imminent eruption coming there. There's a link below to the Great American Eclipse page. It shows where you can see the eclipse, what time, and how much of the path you can see. For example, this Saturday morning in my area, I know I'll need to look around 10.30 and for a few minutes after that, and I can expect to see a near total eclipse with just a sliver of the sun remaining visible. Again, link to that in the maps is below. Last but not least, many of you probably saw this story yesterday. I went ahead and I read the paper for the announcement, and while the exact dating using carbon isotopes is likely a bit off, like so many other carbon dated items, it surely was a massive solar outburst near the end of the last ice age. It is the largest flare detected yet by this method, and would have likely been somewhere between X100 and X400 in terms of flare power. Yes, that would have utterly obliterated anything electrical on Earth if it were to happen today. Saturday is our next Observer event. We'll be giving away some very cool stuff, including gear and a full disaster planning session. Come see the EMP-proof disaster vehicle, learn to make one yourself, hang out with me and Rocky. Tickets found at the link below, and we'd love to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone